Hey y'all, hey, how y'all doing? I hope everybody's feeling good and great and all that old shit. Y'all know how I do it. I just jump right into it. Okay, say you meet somebody and you just don't have like, like you're not you're not attracted to this person, right? But you know, like they're they're cool people. So you exchange numbers with this person. And uh, whenever they, they don't call, they text. You know what I'm saying? The one thing that bugged me out is that um, when grown men do the texting thing, like right off the bat, like, first of all, I don't even know you. you text. I mean, I get that. Like, I know that's, that, that's the thing. You know what I'm saying? It's, this is the, 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 the thing to do. But as a grown man, I'm like, why don't you get on the phone and talk to me? Like, I don't understand. But okay, whatever. I go with the flow. All right? Boom, talking about, I mean, well, texting, and I, and I was always pretty dry. I didn't save this person's number, and, uh, and you know, one day he sent something really nice or whatnot, and I was like, oh, thank you, you know, because I was feeling some type of way, and he was like, oh, it's, it was, he said that he was my friend, and I was like, no, for real, like, I mean, you don't know me, you know what I'm saying, he don't know me, but I take, like, the friend word, like, serious, I just don't throw that shit around, and I was like... You know what I'm saying? Which I would say to anybody who said that they're my friend who's not my friend. Um, no, you're not my friend. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're an acquaintance, somebody I'm getting to know, like an associate. Friend? No, that word has so much meaning to me. It's like, I, you know, I kind of shut him down, like, right then and there. But then, so check this shit out. So then he called me and invited me to this... <laughs> Fancy extravaganza, darling. So I was like, he said, you want to go? Yes, I do. I definitely want to go. I do, I do, I do. I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. So I you know said, we definitely going to go out, whatever, to this, to this, to this fancy extravaganza. But don't be acting like you by me. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. I mean, well, of course you. I mean, you know, like sometimes you go out with with some guys and they try to, like, I mean, you don't even like y'all just are on a date and you trying to act like I'm your wife. Like, no. I mean, I like if, we, if I'm feeling you like that, then yeah. I mean, that'll be cool. But I'm not feeling you like that, so let's not, like, it's not appropriate. Like, stay on. We can talk, chit chat, have a good time. I leave, you leave, that's it. You know what I'm saying? But don't be, I've had, I went out with this other guy and um, I can tell we just didn't, I, I'm sure I talked about it on here before. We just didn't have like this, this, we just didn't have a connection. Like we met each other, whatever. It was cute just within meeting each other. And then we actually, um, he was a texter too. Uh, then we finally went out to dinner. Like I could just tell from his conversation, I was like, nah, I can't. Mm -mm, he ain't for me, whatever. So then, like, we left, like, you know, it was cool. But in my mind, I was like, nah, this thing, I already knew that it wasn't, it wasn't popping. So he called me the next day and was like, hey, queen, you know, and all this other shit. And I was like, hey, queen. I, I felt that he felt it too. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, the shit was awkward. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> what the fuck? You ain't. You don't power through with that shit. Like, me and you, we didn't have, like, that connection that people trying to have when they're trying to build something. Now, can something come from something that if that's that's awkward at the beginning? I guess. I don't know. But I don't be trying to be visited. Like, no, if it's awkward, like, we're at the be I'm like, nah. Like, I see red flags, like, in the beginning. Nah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm falling all the way motherfucker back. Like, nope. I'm not trying to discover or try to clarify Bitch, the chemistry ain't there, boom, there it is. So then I told him, I was like, yo, um, uh, when he said the queen shit, I was like, yo, me, we don't have a chemistry. He was like, yeah, I felt the same way. Then why the fuck are you calling me in the morning to some hey, queen? Like, you shouldn't even call me at all. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's what I figured it was going to happen. Like, he felt it, I felt it. What the fuck, is, the fuck is you doing? And then him too was like, he was trying to, like, act like he was my man in that moment. Like, am I, I don't even know you. Like, mm -mm. first of all, don't get close. I don't like people get close to me. I don't like people touching me. And people get mad when I say that shit. I don't give a fuck. Don't touch me. I don't like to be touched. Like, I, unless, like, you, you know, somebody who I want to touch me. If you ain't somebody I want to touch, don't touch me. 
I don't like that shit. Even my son's father, he be trying to touch you. Like, yo, don't touch me. Like, even he touch my arm. I don't want to be touched. Like, don't touch me. I'm your, no, you're my son's father. That's the fuck you are, motherfucker. Like, the fuck? Like, uh, no, and don't touch me. Like, the hell? Like, people, like, what the, people feel like they, like, they have, like, this, um, connection. I mean, well, you, we do have a connection or, like, this un, uh, what the fuck is, how can I say this shit? This, um, this unspoken, um, need to be able to just do shit to you that, like, in the past, like, even this is, t don't touch me. I don't give a fuck. I don't like it. Yeah, okay, whatever. Y'all call me weird. Whatever the fuck. I just, I don't like people to, like, I'm always like, uh, 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 you know what I'm saying? Like, I block shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't like that kissing on the face shit. Oh, definitely ain't doing that. I don't know. Where your lips been, honey? My skin is nice and smooth. I like to keep it that way, thank God. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Where your lips been? You could have been sucking whatever the fuck just five minutes before you seen me. And you was not about to put your motherfucking lips on my motherfucking face. <laughs> like, and I don't motherfucking know you like that. You know what I'm saying? But people get offended by shit like that. This shit is crazy. I'm like, bitch. You don't have a, a welcoming mat to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, no. But then the crazy shit is, you know, like, we are all, we contradict so much shit. Like, just, I'm such a contradictor, too. I, um, I always touch people. <laughs> We're not, got, like, girl, like, you know, like, not like that. But, you know, like, I always put my hand on people. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I feel like I have that power. Not the power to be able to just touch people when I feel like it, but, you know, like, they, they feel that energy. Like, it'd be some some calming, cool, um, stress-free, loving, you know, laying of the hands. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let me lay my hands on you. Need that in your life. You know what I'm saying? Like, that, put my hands on you. And, yo, listen... I'm moving on. I also saw this, uh, read this story today. Disgusting, frightening. Like, what the? Child, it was in Mississippi. That's my place. That's another place I just do not want to visit. Like, at all. Like, it's just not. There, Texas. It's a whole, quite a few other places. Like, mm, no. Uh -huh. But anyway, it was a, a young girl. I guess she went with this guy, and he asked her to have sex with somebody else. They got into a fight. This is what the news is reporting. Um, so how do we know how much is this shit is true? But I'm just, this is what they reported. Um, invited her. They asked her to have sex with somebody. She said no. They got into a fight. Shot her. Put her in the back of a car. And somebody raped her while she was shot. They don't know if she was dead or not. Then they shot her two more times after that and dumped her body. Like, I tell y'all, motherfucker, you got to pay attention to people that's around you. Everybody does not belong in your life. Everybody do not need to partake in sexual pleasures with you. You don't need to give your bias up just because you want to fuck. Like, you have to figure these people out, like, before you even get to that point. However, there are some psychopaths that's, like, really good at it. You know what I'm saying? But you, you have to be cautious when you out here walking out here in these motherfucking streets because everybody don't mean... No motherfucking good. Like, for no... Yo, now, this is so off topic. So just just be careful, people. And, and be careful of the people that you allow in your life. Because people can come in your life and wreck your whole fucking shit. Because they have negative motherfucking energy. Case in point. Bitch, I got this... My motherfucking nephew was dealing with this girl. I don't... Nobody like her. I just... I didn't like her right off the bat. Like, I don't give a fuck. I ain't like this bitch. I was just like, she's a rude bitch. Like, you, when you come into somebody else's home, right? You, you, the, you the new girl and, and that, that, that's, it, that's, that's getting invited into the family, right? And you try to act like, and oh, oh and she wanted to mix bitches. Like, some of y'all bitches be acting like, y'all, I don't know. Like, y'all be flipping. You know what I'm saying? What mean you want to act like you, but you want to, I mean, but this, what you can't do because you are a, you are a mixed breed. But, but I've, I have had some some encounters with these bitches. Not all of y'all are like that, but some like, I don't know what the fuck be on your mind. Like, you feel like you some type of, I don't know, like, you on that, that white supremacy shit with the, like, like the rest of these motherfucking Caucasian motherfuckers. Like, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes they, they try to, they play that shit too. So the bitch was rude. I was just like, nah, I told my nephew, like, nah, I don't like her. 
And she just sending him through all types of hell. They mad young. She When he met her, this bitch already done had a kid. Baby, like one years old. You know what I'm saying? He don't talk. He bark. And then uh, she then they have another baby. They, they had a baby together. Um, this baby is like six, seven months or some shit like that. And she pregnant again. And she just be sending him through all types of bullshit. Like breaking, crying, like just, oh my God. Like, girl, you, you now I don't, I do not say or try to predict anybody's life because whatever somebody want to do with their life, they can do it. You know what I'm saying? But having a whole, like three kids, and you can do whatever you want. Like, but oh my God, the holy hell. Like, that's just, that's just a whole lot. You know what I'm saying? Well, yo, it was a whole lot for me as a parent, but then again, my circumstances was different. I didn't have any family here with me to, to assist with me with, with my child. But you know, I did have my New York mother, my son's father, like not so much, you know, New York family, sometimes they be a little child. It's be a lot of them that I meet be like, they not really close knitted. I don't know what the fuck. Not all, but some that I've met. You know what I'm saying? And so he was that his, my son's father's case in point was like that. You know what I'm saying? So, I didn't really have nothing, you know, no support from there. But then I met my New York mother, who I came to meet, whatever, who invited me into her family and loved me like her and also my son as well. So, but yeah, but back to this chick, like she just sent him through so much and talk, talk to him negatively. Man, let me tell you something. If y'all out here and y'all in a relationship with someone and now we know, first of all, just, just listen up. We know that. Uh, relationships are not all 100 all the time. Like, shit, like it, it is not. But if you can't find it, like, within yourself and, and both parties, right, to be positive to the other person and try to lift each other up because two people, like, oh my, that, that's, you, you are a power fucking, a power couple. How you can just, you know, pull yourselves from the mud without just one income, but y'all have two. If both of y'all are working or whatever, and then hopefully y'all be working on something to where y'all can put y'all shit together and build some other shit. Or even that just just sending positive vibes to, to one another. Like, yo, we got this, we can do this. You know what I'm saying? If it's not motherfucking 80% of that shit, then you need to leave that shit the fuck alone. Like, I don't even know why you will continue to have yourself like in these type of situations. Like you know, I don't like it, when it's just like the outcome is just bad. And then on top of that, when your whole family is feeling the same way about about somebody, like, nah, I don't like this man. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I don't like this dude. You have to listen to that sometimes. Like, and I know like people are gonna be defined, like, nah, that's my man, that's my girl, I love him. But sometimes, not all, but they can people can see shit like other than you because they fucking you real good. So your your vision is a little cloudy. You know what I'm saying? You can be a little cloudy by the day. But you got to snap up out of shit. Compartmentalize, motherfucker. When you're in the moment and you fucking, that's good and it's great. And like, th that's great. But also see beyond that. What type of person is this person? Like, And also, do y'all mix well together? You know what I'm saying? And if it's an oil and water situation, then like you need to like uh, s separate like they do. You know what I'm saying? Like, what, what, what are y'all doing? Stop putting yourself through shit just because you don't want to be by yourself. And then a lot of black men be on this shit, like, you know, because they got some some mixed child uh, girl or or a guy, whoever, like, uh, some black people who thinks this way, and then they mess with somebody who's white or mixed or whatever. They want that. Yo, know, self-hatred is a whole, that's, that's, that's a whole fucking thing because they want their daughters and their sons to be like skin dead as they say and shit. <laughs> or they want they jaw to have like that that hair. Like, oh my God. Wow. But see if you come from a family where, you know, you're not taught to love yourself and, and, and see the beauty like within yourself. Then of course you can be easily manipulated by all the shit that's 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 put out there. And the majority of all the shit that's put out there look like this. And the reason why these bitches is up here is because I love these dresses. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, like if you can't see, if you don't see your own hair, your natural hair, like natural hair, not calling your shit nappy and, and loving who you, who you are, 
and loving black women for who they are, their noses, their lips, their skin tones, the variety of them. You know what I'm saying? Their hips, their thighs. I was just watching the Grammys and I was looking at this. What's her name? Carrie Underwood, I think her name was. Her motherfucking legs was so strong. Like this bitch didn't have an ounce of fat on her. I was like, what the fuck? I mean, well, she's a, clearly like she likes to work out. And, you know, I respect that. And I do too. But I also like to eat. And you know what I'm saying? I also, and I also think that women should have some fat on them. Like, it's like not like, I mean, whatever. Like, you know, it's up to you. This is my opinion, right? Like, as a woman, because wouldn't a man want to hold somebody nice and soft and cuddly and, you know, squeeze on her? You know what I'm saying? Hopefully, he already hard. We don't need to be hard on hard. <laughs> the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, you know, you want to hold something soft and squishy. You know what I'm saying? But anyway. Anyway, y'all know my, I'm your girl. My name is Real. I'm an intimacy coach slash seductress. Uh, the name of my service is called Seductive Art. I focus on three specialized areas of sexual enhancements. Uh, my mission is to empower black women. Initially, when I started, it was just for black women. But we can't have these conversations about sex and relationships without men. So if, to empower black men and black women and men, right? Um, this is my book. It's called Quickie. It's seven short erotic stories. Read why you fuck, fuck why you read. Um, it's an ebook form only. It's only a dollar ninety nine. Please get that. Read that. Um, you know I'm also a designer. The name of my brand is Real Nice by Real All Things Fresh. The real uh, the website is real dot real nice dot com. Go and sign up, and you will receive a discounted code for your purchases. You will receive. 10% off. Also read my fashion blog, which is Let's Talk Fashion. I also offer fashion consultation. I'll get you together uh, fashionably. So check all that out at realnice.com. I say thank you all so much. And if I resonate with you, please hit that, click that. I would appreciate that. Thank you so much. Um, and all that little good shit. Uh, I suppose to do, um, on Wednesdays, I do my ESS, which is Erotic Central Seductive Dance, which is one third of seductive art. But I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it tomorrow because I I have some plans. I won't. I don't think I'm gonna have time. So, yes, yeah, so I'll be doing it on Thursday. But anyway, y'all have a great day. Uh, be well. Be kind. Be generous. Be considerate. Be compassionate. Be motivated. Be inspiring. Be um, focused. Be generous. Be about your motherfucking money. Be knowing when there's some fuck ass motherfuckers around you and get them out your life. Be uh, great at what you do. Um, be about the community. Be a part of the solution. Uh, just be. 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 Most importantly, be. Be you. That's it.